Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to the Tech Source. Today we'll be doing an installation guide of the Cosair H70 CPU cooler. Um, I'll be installing it on an AMD system this time. So this is a this is an AM2 plus motherboard, but AM2, AM3, and 939 is all the same installation. So let's get to it and uh, not waste any time. Stick around, guys. Alright, so for the installation of the Cosair H70 on an AMD system, first off, you're going to need to either remove your stock CPU heatsink or, in this case, we have an aftermarket Zalman heatsink. So we're going to need to go and remove that. And uh, if you don't have a CPU cutout like this case does, so I'm just going to flip it around here. Um, as you can see, it has a nice large CPU cutout. Um, you might have to remove your motherboard. In this case, we don't. We just have to take out the original brackets. So I'm going to show you how to do all that as well. So um, if you do, you're going to have to go ahead and take out your motherboard as well. Um, in our case, we don't. So we're going to go ahead and remove our stock CPU cooler. So now you can see, as we've removed all the uh, old thermal, well, not the old thermal gel, but the old CPU cooler, um, you can see there's the old, old thermal gel on it. Um, this stuff on here is actually not that old at all, but... I'm just making this because you know a lot of people have requested about this. So, but you really need to remove this by grabbing some uh, uh, tissues or a microfiber cloth. So, for example, I lost my microfiber cloth. Oh, here it is. So, I use my microfiber cloth. You can see it has lots of thermal gel over it. So, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to find a clean spot on here somewhere. I just get You just kind of want to wipe it down and just get all the heavy stuff off. So that. All right, now it's all nice and clean. So simple as that. Now you can see. Oh, sorry, wrong zoom. It's kind of hard operating the camera back. So you can see it's nice and clean. So next, we're gonna fold our cloth to a nice clean spot or cleaner spot. I really need to clean this cloth. It's getting dirty after quite a few CPU installs. Uh, pour some rubbing alcohol on it. Get some, it's probably the French side. Oh, there we go, French side. Yeah. <laughs> so I poured some rubbing alcohol on it. I just put it right up against it. I uh, should zoom out. I just put it up right against it, and then now you got the nice little spot. So you don't need a lot. Just wipe it down. It gets any excess stuff. Uh, rubbing alcohol evaporates really fast, so it's good to use to clean. And uh, there we go. So now that's nice and clean. So uh, we're going to crack open our Corsair H70 box. Uh, you're going to want to grab and set up your bracket for AMD. Um, the one... You're going to watch. Need to look in the instructions and watch for the different standoffs. These are the ones for AMD, and this is the back plate. So we're going to need to grab these, and I'm going to have to go apart and rip apart my i7 PC and pull the H70 off that because uh, it's the only way we're going to finish the instant install. So, and uh, next step, we're going to just need to remove our AMD bracking system. So let's uh, go ahead and remove that now. All right. So just to remove the AMD bracking system, you just grab a Phillips head screwdriver. And we are just going to loosen all the screws out. There's one. All right, so now we're going to install the bracketing system for the H70. Now you're going to grab your AMD bracket, because we are installing this on the AMD. And you want to grab these little silver pieces here. That's what the screws thread into. So they go into the back plate. So you just kind of stick them in there. And they should go in. They're a little, it's a tight fit, but I think it's meant so they don't slide around on a boat. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, just push them up against something. They pop right in. Alright, so now that you have your AMD uh, bracket all set up, so you're going to want to put that on the back of the motherboard where your original AMD mounting system went. So we're just going to flip the case around here and I'll show you where that goes. So as you can see, there's no bracket system here, so you're just going to put that there like that. Now I don't have the uh, little adhesive pieces because they are used on this motherboard, as you can see. It's stuck to that. Um, they're not on that, so it's okay. So we got that all set up like that. It's kind of holding itself there. So, then next, what we're going to want to do is, yeah, see it fell off. <laughs> uh, not really holding itself there the best. Uh, we're going to want to install your rear fan. And we're going to start installing the Cosair H70. So, 
do this. Alright, so the next step would be to grab your, uh, after removing your rear fan, you're, we're going to want to go and install the H70. Now, all you, know, you do is get the, the 120 fan that they included. Uh, you get four of these screws with the washers. You just basically put them in the back of your case, line up all your holes, um, as I haven't really done properly. Put them in and uh, just line it up with the H70 and just put them and just don't over tighten them, just turn them, that's it. And like it's not, it doesn't need to be wrenched down. So and now this case is a little too small to do this, so it's kind of a uh, but I'm doing it for demonstration purposes because, you know, there's no video out there yet of showing how to install this on an AMD socket. So cool. There we go. So, you know, our rear fan, our, our push fan, and then our pull fan will go here. So we got to install the Corsair H70 and first clean it because, well, if you bought this, it would come with pre-applied thermal gel, which you can use. Well, since this was the old thermal gel off my i7, I got to clean it first before I can install this. And so we put fresh thermal gel on it. So it's uh, some good thermal gel too I had on that. There we go. And now I'm just going to take the rubbing alcohol and clean it again. So over. Grab a clean spot. And that's all we need. And that's pretty clean. See, as you can see, that was a, that was a clean spot. Not so much stuff actually comes off. And yeah, there we go. That's good enough. That's why I like to clean it with rubbing alcohol. So now we're gonna grab our bracket, grab our four screws wherever I left them. Oh, over here. So grab our four screws for the mounting. So this is what they look like in your in your instruction guide. It does show you how they look like. So they have this kind of top. They're uh, threaded only partially here, and it's all smooth here. So we're going to want to pre-set this up in here. So you're going to put all your screws through this. Set this up. So you're going to punch all four screws in. And once I'm done that, we'll come back, all right? So once you have your mounting bracket all set up, uh, like so, um, it also says in the manual how to do it too. Uh, for de more detailed instructions, we're going to want to apply some new thermal gel to our Cosair H70, or if you're first installing it, you don't have to. So, um, recommended thermal gel I would recommend is some uh, Arctic Series 5. Um, I also got this cheaper stuff, Cooler Master. That's what I'm going to use because I don't feel like wasting this expensive, more expensive stuff. So, um, just going to crack this bad boy open. And then we're just going to put a little dab. That's all you need. There. That, I don't even know if you can see that in the video there. That little dot was in, is way more than enough than what you need to uh, for thermal gel. So, uh, first put on our bracket. Sorry if you can't see anything, my arms will probably be in the way. This would help having a second person helping me out. Just because it doesn't have that holding it. The uh, foam. But no matter, we can get this in. Now this is definitely the wrong case to install it in, and it's making it a lot more difficult just because of size. We're using a micro ATX board 
and a mid tower case and a, using a pretty beefy cooler so uh, I tightened the screw down too far so it's making the installation a lot more difficult than it should be and the half which I installed it in is so easy to install this and it's not letting me turn it there so now that I have it all set up finally after fiddling with it uh, it's just going to be as easy as tightening all the screws down and dropping screwdrivers <laughs> so I'm just going to tighten all these down so when I come back after these are all tightened down uh, we'll do installing the final fan and hooking up all the wires alright so now we have the uh, pump power plug and we have the rear fan power plug and we still have one more fan to install so first we're going to go ahead and install the last fan so this one's the one exhausting hot air into your case uh, I'm just going to install it like this this is going to be very difficult in a small case so again we're going to grab the same screws you used to uh, install the first fan and uh, this one's going to be a bit easier because we're not trying to set it up and line it up the cooler we're just putting them in there we go. So I got one fan, one screw in. I'll just put two screws in. Just you gotta you gotta put all four. But I'm just gonna put all two in to make this quicker. So now I got it all mounted. We have the two plugs for this. So now uh, there's a breakout that came with uh, in the box, and it also came with two uh, controllers to slow slow down the speed of your fan. And I can't find. Oh, here's the breakout. So. It came with, uh, here's a breakout, so you can plug this straight into your motherboard, and you can plug two fans into that, which is nice to have. It also came with two uh, fan speed controllers. They're not really controllers. They're more like cut the speed of the fan in half. It's pretty much low speed on the fans, which I highly recommend if you're big on noise, but if you want maximum cooling, don't use these. The fans do almost hit 60 decibels when at, at full RPM. So we're going to install the uh, breakout and leave the fans at max RPM because we want maximum cooling and who needs quietness that would be the better anyways so then you want to find a uh, fan header somewhere on your motherboard and since this one only has two because it's a cheap low-end motherboard then I'll unplug the one the one case fan that is plugged into it get rid of that and we're gonna go ahead and plug that in and make sure after you plug in all your fans Holy, this is tight. This is really impossible to work with. Full tower cases are so much nicer. I can't even get that in. It's just in a bad spot, and this case is too small. All right, never mind. Got it in. Cool. And then we're going to install your power for your pump. So I'm just wiring this really nasty right now, but it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, like if I was to actually put this in, if I was to use this all the time, this would be looking a lot nicer. This is just a bunch of wires everywhere and this is not hooked up. So that's basically it. That's hooked up. Um, it's good to go. So what you want to do is go into your BIOS, make sure you dis disable all power save settings for fans. And um, yeah, so you do not want any of those on because the pump has to run at 100% speed. And the fans, well, you can set the fans, your chassis fan. You can have the power save settings on that. So you can have like, um, well, I don't know what the Asus one is called. I can't remember. I think it's like Q fan or something like that. It uh, regulates it by temperature. But for the CPU uh, pump, you're going to want that all power save settings off. You're going to want it at max speed or else the pump won't work properly. It needs maximum voltage. All right, guys, so that was the installation video of the Cosair H70 CPU cooler in, uh, on AMD systems. So this installation guide did cover AM2, AM3, and all AMD sockets that this thing supports. So here it is, the Cosair H70, guys. So remember to rate, thumbs up, and subscribe, and you have been watching the Tech Source.